This southeastern region of Tennessee had many important musicians that contributed to uh, the way music sounded in the south uh, thereafter, and it was a, a rich and diverse uh, musical scene. You've got, for instance, Alan Sisson, whose fiddling was spotless and, and almost Irish and very rich, deep classical sound that showed those Celtic roots. Another great fiddler who, who never made records commercially, but that was Tom Douglas, and he won plenty of contests. His son, Bob Douglas, born in 1900, started traveling with him uh, when he was a teenager playing guitar for him. Bob finally took over the fiddle starting about 1925. And by 1928, Bob Douglas, right here in Chattanooga, had won the All Southern Fiddlers Convention. I love old time music. I have a satisfaction of playing the music. I like the social aspects of playing with other people. That, you know, we just have so much fun with the jam session. I feel connected, and that's one of the nice things about the music. Is it does connect you to another time and place and people. Originated, you know, in people's room, living rooms, dining rooms, uh, around their kitchen table, on their porch, wherever. And that was one of the beautiful things was the, um, all the tunes and songs were pretty much shared. And then you had this wonderful melange and uh, trade-off between black and white musicians that you would expect in a community that had resonance coming from Chattanooga with its great African-American population and blues movement and, and no doubt a, a real grip on all the popular uh, musical fashions that were coming in for the day. In the Sequatchie Valley, there's still the son of, of one African-American fiddler is playing music down in Sequatchie Valley. That's Earl T. Bridgman. I happened to be the only blues man in Squatchy Valley. My daddy was a fiddler. I couldn't stand the squeak of that fiddle when I was a child, so I got me a harmonica, and I learned to play harmonica by listening to Little Walter, Muddy Waters, Jimmy Reed, Sonny Boy Williamson, all the old blues singers, harmonica guitar players back in those days. Somewhere in my mind, I said, I want to play this kind of music. Tell them I'm standing, everybody. 